temperature, this is going to be quite a battle, uh, quite a battle for TPS Turku anyway. Well, they'll have to play good positional hockey. They've got the ability to. They've got Rokoma, a good goaltender. Ketterer, a national goalie. They've got Narvarma, who's a good defenseman. Leto, Vertanen, very solid. Verta, a very offensive defenseman who can do the job. Up front, they're very strong with Vlander. Malcolm Davis is a good forward, good, great playmaker. They've got Yalanen out there who can do it all. So they're going to have to play good positional hockey to stay with this CSKA Moscow team. Well, what can you say about CSKA Moscow that hasn't already been said? They got some good goaltending in Ivashkin. Zobov, a new boy, number three. Kravchuk, he's been around for a while. Kusarov, he's been there on the national side. Konstantinov, a veteran, along with Stelnov. Davidov, it's good to see him back in the side. Gur, a young, exciting player wearing number 12. Kamensky, of course, will be out there with Komatov and Bikov. That's their new number one line. Keep an eye out for them. Kovalenko, number 26, is capable of putting the puck in the net. CSKA Moscow will be playing from right to left. They are the favorites in the tournament, and they will dictate the way this game goes. Well, as we said before, the key to this game is going to be discipline and positioned hockey for this Finnish side to be able to maintain the pressure. Konstantinov getting over to the far side. Return pass coming to Bikov. Kamensky takes the first shot, and that's high over the target. But right away, you can see these boys get trickles out. Going back forward is Bikov. A lazy backhand pass eventually coming up to Konstantinov. A shot right on the target. But it's nice to see Rosenheim in there too. The Soviets going in on the backhand side with Pavel Burr, as I said. Watch him, number 12. Lots of moves. Nikolainen coming in on the backhand side. Looking so casual. Kamensky now going in on the backhand side. Flipping that one out front. Kusarov tried to push it into the slot area. Nikolainen got a stick to it. It's still Kusarov. Over the far side, a shot right on the target. And Ketterer had to be alert to get in front of that one. Still, it's the Finnish side in possession. Davis getting it back. Back to the point now, number 23. Verta getting it across. Davis wants it, he's not going to get it. Verta still taking a lot of time, way back at the point. Oh, that's in the net. Davis got the pass from behind. Yalanen got it to him. Buori will also get an assist, but number 17, Malcolm Davis, puts the finish side into the lead. Well, Davis has a nice touch anywhere near that net, and uh, there you see he's inside the box. He's just moved into position. Pass was nicely fed through there. Davis makes no mistake. Konstantinov here lost sight of that completely as it just went under his stick. Not a good pass there as uh, Bikov came up with it. Kamensky, he's got Bikov, he's got Homotov. The shot right on the target by Kamensky. And Ketterer got the glove hand to it as they mix it up in front of the net. Took a nice snapshot. It was right in the glove of Ketterer. There you see Kamensky really stopping quickly. Snaps that wrist shot. Ketterer plays it very well and it's in his glove. Kravchuk. Good forechecking here by TPS. Nima taking his man around. Kusarov right in front. And number 27, Kostichin. Couldn't find the puck. He took a swing at it and missed it completely. And back comes TPS on the attack. Fedorov shadowing there. As number 27, Niukinen moved his way in front of the net. Fedorov now with the puck. Dumping it up to Kusarov. A shot that's in the net. Kovalenko, number 26, took that shot. It may have took a deflection. He got a little pass from Fedorov, and that levels the score, but this is a rocket. Look at this. Well, Kovalenko was really steaming through the center of the ice as he got that pass. and he. The officials wave off the icing call. Verta getting it over to Davis. He's got a breakaway. He takes a shot. He's the post! And that's batted into the crowd by Bikoff, and ran into each other in the neutral zone the long pass back Kovalenko the goal scorer takes a shot on and Ketterer had problems with that as they start to mix it up behind the net CSKA side are changing on the fly well the fans seem to be behind Turku here as they ice that puck 
They've got a lot of work yet to do here. Malakoff gives that one up. And now Khomatov is out there with Kamensky. Bikoff picks this one up in the corner and is rubbed out of the play. That's one right across, and that's in the net. Khomatov getting the pass from Kamensky. Bikoff did a little work in the corner, nothing too serious, just enough to get it out. Kamensky got it over to Khomatov, and that's a power play goal. Kamensky with a really nice pass to Komatov, but if you had to pick a man that you wanted to see score and who deserved a goal, it would be Komatov. He's worked very hard in this game, and he just came up with a well-deserved goal there. Once again, the pass coming right across from a sharp angle, almost an impossible. Burr's calling for it, but Kravchuk gets it behind the net. The Soviets now on the attack. They lead two goals to one here in the third period. Coming down as you look at our camera, that's a great goal. Oh, just a magnificent goal as the cameraman took over from behind the net. You can see this youngster, Pavel Burr, go right down, dipsy doodling. Look at this for moves. This is nice to watch as Burr should be well happy with this goal. He leaves Narvarma just wishing that he hadn't even been on the ice. There he is. He puts the puck through his legs, walks around him, says, see you later, puts a puck behind the goaltender, and that's a lovely goal. He celebrates. He's really happy about that with the full face mask. Fedorov behind the net, looking to get that to Burr. A deadly duo, Pavel Burr and uh, Fedorov out there. Fedorov again as Burr circles, looking for that pass. Kusarov working his way in nicely. Kusarov coming in on the short side. Kostichkin. Couldn't get the handle on that. Still, it's uh, Burr working his way out front, and really, this guy can move. Well, he's definitely a player for the future here, as he's got a lot, a lot going for him. And as we're talking, he just buried his second goal, and it's four to one very quickly. Well, this youngster has got stardom written all over him. He picks up the puck here. Puts that one right upstairs, an impossible shot for a goalie. And that's number two for Pavel Burr and number four for CSKA. Well, this kid certainly looks cool out there as he's uh, given the high fives and he's well happy with himself. He's got a lot of reasons. He's one for the future. Taken out by Hersamaki. Number 12, Burr getting right back into the thick of things. Virtanen gets that right out front. Hersamaki scores! Yanni Hersamaki got the pass from Virtanen, and that's just what they needed. 53-43 of this final period. Let's look at this again. Well, it's a nice pass from Virtanen out in front of the net. Hersamaki puts a lovely little delay on here, lets the goaltender go down, and then flips it over him. Here in the Soviet Union, it all starts about the age of four as it does in Canada and the States. And that's the only way to do it. Teach him young as Davidoff goes down on the left wing, taken out of the play. Stelmov over to the far side. Butsayev. Stelmov will be happy to rag the puck here and kill off the dying seconds. The whistle getting set to blow. Delayed offside as the arm goes down. Number 23, Hanu Verta goes back. Will they have a chance for just one last shot? Verta circles back into the neutral zone and the whistle goes. And there's the final score.